Hey guys, what is up and welcome back. Right now in this video, we are going to go ahead and check out two brand new seasonal challenges coming to the game tomorrow, as well as we're also going to check out a brand new crate also coming to the game tomorrow. So anyways, if you guys enjoy the video, a like helps out a lot. And also, if you guys are new around here, please go ahead and consider smacking that sub button and joining the family. But anyways, here we go. So let's go ahead and start off with the seasonal challenges. Firstly, the Premier Operations Challenge. Over here, guys, we are going to have a total of six missions to go ahead and do. Firstly, survive for 20 minutes in Battle Royale, and you are going to get 200 credits as well as some Battle Pass XP. Mission 2, use Outrider Cyber Line in Battle Royale and kill 5 enemies, and you are going to get Mechanic Warp and some Battle Pass XP, so you are going to have to go ahead and buy Outrider Cyber Line from the credit store, and then use that Outrider in these missions over here. Moving on. Kill 20 enemies with the Outrider Cyber Line in a multiplayer match and you are going to get the weapon Charm E Chatter as well as some Battle Pass XP. Quite a nice charm, got a computer with teeth because it's E Chatting so that's pretty interesting. Then over here we have Mission 4, win one multiplayer match as Outrider Cyber Line and you are going to get 15 weapon EXP cards all valued at 500 points each and some Battle Pass XP at 4000 XP. Mission 5. Win 4 multiplayer matches as Outrider Cyber Line and you are going to get the S36 Warp as well as some more Battle Pass XP and you are going to get 5000 XP over here. Then Mission 6. Kill 100 enemies with Outrider and an S36 in multiplayer matches and I believe it has to be Outrider Cyber Line again and you are going to get a Soldier being Spec Ops 5 Trance and some Battle Pass XP. Quite a nice Soldier actually. We do be getting a lot of Spec Ops 5 skins though for free. This over here is like light blue mixed with dark blue and the dark blue sort of looks like purplish as well. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. It's a nice reskin I should say. But yeah, we are getting a lot of free Spec Ops 5 skins throughout. But anyways, that's gonna be a free soldier. Always nice getting a new free soldiers. Anyways, that is gonna be the first event with a free soldier. What do you guys think of that? Now on to the next event called Death Mist. Over here we are gonna have a total of 5 missions. Firstly, throw tactical grenades 8 times in multiplayer matches. And we are gonna get 200 credits and some battle pass XP. Mission 2. Use cryo bombs 5 times in multiplayer matches and we are going to get the smoke bomb, warp and some battle pass XP. Mission 3. Equip the tactical perk and kill 30 enemies in multiplayer matches and we are going to get 10 weapon EXP cards valued at 500 points each and some battle pass XP as well. Moving on. Mission 4. Destroy 3 enemy score streaks with AMPs and you are going to get the brand new grenade being the tear grass grenade and some battle pass XP. Then the final mission being mission 5, use 10 tear gas grenades in multiplayer matches and we are going to get the calling card dystopia on TV and some battle pass XP. So okay that is going to be all of the brand new seasonal challenges coming to the game tomorrow. A free soldier as well as the brand new grenade being the tear gas grenade. Are you guys hyped for that or not? Let me know down below. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the brand new crate also coming to the game tomorrow. So Garena put up this picture over here and we can see Ethan over there from Infinite Warfare who is kind of like the most human-like even though it's a full-on robot robot in the game. It was very high tech in Infinite Warfare. Now in the description it reads the following. Wow, who else is this? Hi soldiers, at that time the admin has made a quiz like this too. The answer is FTL even though obviously we know that's not FTL. Well, if this is anyone guessing it, do you think who is the combat rare character that will be coming soon to the game? Now, we get brand new crates on Wednesdays as well as Mondays. So, tomorrow is Wednesday, so obviously we can go ahead and expect this crate to be dropping in the game tomorrow with Ethan. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Now on the screen is going to be that full crate coming to the game. So, yeah, just sit back and relax and enjoy.
so yeah, that over there is going to be the crates coming to the game. Firstly, obviously, we have E3N, or Ethan, in the long form, from Infinite Warfare. In my opinion, it's like a better version of Reaper, but it's from Infinite Warfare instead of Black Ops. Now, like always, guys, here's a short description of who Ethan is. Ethan is one of the supporting characters in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. E3N is designed to be a one-of-a-kind tactical soldier bot, capable of human responses and emotions, making it significantly more advanced than the C6 robots, which are a little bit more like the mindless drones. So okay, that's gonna be Ethan or E3N from Infinite Warfare, quite a solid looking robotic soldier. We're also gonna have a very nice futuristic, but not too futuristic, DRH Cyber Security. Like I said, it's futuristic looking, but also not too futuristic looking, so I do like that. And the iron sights on this bad boy, well, they don't exist. We have some digital sights over here, and I know those are always super popular, very nice to go ahead and use. And there's always an argument that they're paid to win or not. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think uh, digital iron sights are paid to win or not? Let me know down below. All I know is they're always super popular when they come out on a gun. And then for the rest of the bulk of guns and weapons, we're going to have the static discharge camo or skin or animation on a bunch of different items and these are like static electricity or just like electricity moving across the gun and it flashes in blue which makes the gun have like a blue effect on that gun for a couple of seconds so not a not a bad epic skin for being like a fuller item in this crate over here so yeah guys that is gonna be a brand new crate coming to the game tomorrow what do you guys think? Do you like it or not? I'm a big fan of Ethan, so hopefully I do go ahead and pick that up tomorrow. So a brand new crate, a new free soldier, and the tear gas is all coming to the game tomorrow. Quite a fun grind day about to be in the game. So anyway guys, that's going to be all from me. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful as well. But for now, that's all from me. Catch you in the next one and Squally out. Cheers!